Hey guys, so you might recognize this as a, this looks like about a 64 Pontiac. Is this yours? 62. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm with the Junkyards and Barn Finds. Yeah, we're a YouTube channel. So what's your first name, sir? My name's David. David, is this yours? Yes, it is. Tell me, can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. <laughs> Uh, 62 Pontiac Catalina wagon. Okay. Uh, it's got the rear facing seat, which is uh, always fun for these types of cars. Right. Uh, grandkids love running it, uh, riding in the back. And uh, it has been upgraded. It's a Resto mod, but the body is kept stock. How about the interior? So, body and interior are pretty. The interior's been upgraded too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we got rid of the bench seat and we replaced it with some. Uh, you know, uh, mid 70s bucket seats. Okay, how is the incorrect. console? What is the console from, or is that the original? The, the console is not original, that's okay. also from a mid 70s, you know, okay. Pontiac vehicle. But yeah, it still has the rear <laughs> facing, yes, sir. So, which yeah. as a kid, we all love that. Now, does this have the, the gate that's a dual open gate that no. can, or, or is this a strictly? It just, it just straight comes down, okay. But when, when you were Here's when we were kids, if you were a kid, I'm 55. Right, I'm but, 63, yeah. So for you, those of you who are under 30, um, this is where you fought with your little brothers and sisters. And up there is where your dad kept saying, if I keep hearing it, I'm turning this car around. That's exactly and I think right. It didn't matter if you were from Pennsylvania, California, or Texas. Right. They all said the same thing. They said the same thing. And then the other thing that was fun is, well, we might have, you know, had certain things that went out the back window the people yep. behind us and dad could never understand why the drivers were uh getting mad at them when they drove by <laughs> now the, the best thing about these especially if your parents let you use one when you were a teenager yeah is we used to have what's called drive-in movies so you oh, go yeah. drive in and you could back in and sit back here put your feet up Amen. and just kind of it was kind of like a lazy boy couch to That's watch right. movies yep. with back in the day yep. so we still with the grandkids we take uh, folding chairs put them all around the back they sit in there and we got a big picnic table instantaneously yeah and they do and they fold down and the this front seat folds, folds down. down yep you could fit a piece of plywood a four by eight piece of plywood in here Just which a lot of people did they used oh, to yeah. use these before like there was a... suvs this was the suv of the day exactly right so yes sir and then the front of this yep. has the styling of the le mans or the gto right it the, does. the 64 or 63 this is a 62 right. you said but 62 yeah. but i mean if you looked at these they definitely were le mans style it's kind of like chevy had the ones based on a chevelle front end sure this was kind of a le mans front end right yep. so and then Correct. So you just you just replaced the seating and the the front council. How about the front? Um... Oh, no, the council. That's all stock. Okay, that's so all stock. and this the whole dashboard. The center, the center okay. council, but the dash is all very. So stock. was this an original electric window there? Yes. So this was yeah. back and in the day. Still, still works. Yeah. This. Uh, so they can open oh, or okay. close it from the inside, and there's one on the dash. So you yeah. Can work see, it my on parents there. didn't trust us enough to have that yeah. back here. <laughs> And it still it, works with the key from here too. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. So I I mean this the styling on this is so like retro uh you know art deco kind of it really is. for these compared. And is this color is this an original Pontiac color then? It's been obviously been repainted, right. but yes, it is an original, close to an original color. Okay, yeah. and it's called a Safari Pontiac. That's right. Um, all all the all the station wagons were called Safari. What is what's what are these? Those kinds? are those are steps to be able to step up and get in. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, so that yeah. were those part of? Were they? Did they That's come right. on the car? That came on the car. That's all really? original. Yes, sir. Wow! And yeah. I, I never saw those. Yeah. So, um, and it didn't have wood. It doesn't have for the wood grain that it they just, came with in the sixty, late sixties, early seventies. Right, right. No, nope, they didn't. So. No, not the stick on wood grain. So what's the uh, obviously different drivetrain because yep. those aren't the original tires that no. didn't come with. No. Came with like fourteens. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. yeah. It's been upgraded to uh, the uh, disc brakes all the way around. To, okay. You know, make a big beast like this stop. And if you look at this, I mean, look at the, the, the rake 
of this and look at the design of this it's yeah. it's back 60s when they were trying to get everything to look like airplanes and speed i mean this looks like it's moving and it's a station wagon right but it's still right. everything is is forward look look at all the body curvature and stuff i mean right it's not like today you look at a toyota today well actually we could look at this today you've got a door that goes like this yes you look at this and it's got doors that go like this and all over exactly. and chrome everywhere and this was not designed on a computer this was somebody with a slide rule come out they go to the clay model Amen. look at it go now nah, we don't like that one go back in slide rule a little bit more come back out exactly right. so yeah um yeah one of the really things that really struck me and still strikes me odd on this all cars all modern cars for years have always had side marker lights right well not only does this not have side marker lights but then they've taken this odd piece that they built into this it's a stock and it blocks from the side being able to see this so the people light. next to you don't even have a clue people that you're don't, turning they can't see it because this is just it's hiding everything wow. just an odd design but they came up with design and that was the right. thing it was like back then design and they unlike cars today like you see a car today it's pretty much like a mustang or a challenge they look pretty much the same yeah regardless you know for five years right these things were completely redesigned that's every right. single year that's right you came out you're like oh i know that one that's a 62 that's a yeah. 63 that's a 64 <laughs> and they were really redesigned they really were so yeah. is there a way we could see under the hood sure. now did this come did this particular one come with air conditioning or any of that uh, or? this car did come with air conditioning uh, it still has the uh uh things on the dash to control it but those don't work anymore. okay yeah and this has been repowered this is a uh, uh mid 80s 305 okay uh but it is throttle body fuel injection so it starts right up you don't have a, a lot of the carburetor issues and uh, you can see here the uh retro air conditioning setup gotcha. and uh, works really well and what's the transmission that you're running in it Tr transmission on this is a uh, 700 r4 okay and what gear are you running gears on this uh, in the rear end do you know uh the it, i do not know so that probably yeah, but i mean they're probably, highway they're not yeah it's, it's probably a 355 gear okay yeah okay and uh did now did you build the motor or did you buy the car with that motor in it uh, i bought this car with the motor in it. okay yes. i have several other cars where i've done transplants and upgraded and, and i have some that are all numbers matching originals right. but this one i did the body was so beautiful on this that uh I was gonna buy it whether it had a motor in it or not. Yeah, I mean so. it has. A, like I saw you drive in, and it really catches your eye. It does. Um, and I rarely, you don't see the thing is you don't see station wagons or anything. Around no, they're anymore. hard to find, right? You know, nobody wanted one ever. Right. The only one they wanted was a Vega, so they could cut it out, put wheel tubs in it, and race it. Yeah. But exactly right. if it wasn't a Vega or a Pinto, nobody wanted one. That's right. And now. Uh, you know, they're coming like the nomads were back in the 80s or everybody wants one. Now. Right, right. Um, and we now appreciate the room yes. that's in them. That's um, exactly right. Yep. But, I mean, this is just a really gorgeous edit. It's really clean. And that, they're not headers or anything. They're nope. just, uh, you know, I mean, it's nice and painted and very cleaned up. Yes. But um, it, it looks like a fairly stock 305, it's right? It's stock. Yeah. It's you stock. know, it's like a crate engine that, that, right. that came out. But, right. I mean, it looks nice. Yep. It goes with the car. Yep. And the thing is, you can probably drive it from here to right, you, can you know, get ready, Massachusetts. drive it across country, yeah. no problem. Exactly right. So it's like the family truckster and yeah. vacation right. without all the wood drink. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. wow, it's a it's a really nice and I'm sure it gets pretty good gas mileage too. It really does. Yep, it gets right around twenty miles to the gallon. So and this looks like I mean, because you're a little older than I am, but not, but in the eighties. This is what every like every car, whether you bought a Chevelle, for anything you bought back then, which was thirteen hundred bucks. First thing they did was get you changed out, put an aluminum manifold on it. Exactly. You put some, you, you changed out the air cleaner, yeah. you changed out the valve covers. Right. And uh, so this looks like like if you had bought, if your parents gave you this, yes, in like in high school in eighty two, and said right. here you now it's yours. If you didn't have the money to go get a GTO or something, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to put this on there. That's exactly This is my right. GTO. It's yeah. just bigger. It's yeah. better. It's always better. It's bigger and better because it's 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 a GTO. Right. In fact, I bet you there's a couple of kids that put GTO markings oh, on this. probably is, yeah. Because, you know, it, right. it has that same look from the front. Right, right. But if you couldn't afford the aftermarket air cleaner, you had to flip the top on yep. your uh, Yeah, you flipped it over, yeah. <laughs> you had to make so you could see that. And then you put a high-rise piece of paper one in there. Yeah. 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 But uh, now this like, brings back so many memories of it. And it's, I mean, look at the, the design of, and, and the condition 
that the grill and the bump i mean i i don't know if those bumpers had i would say re-chromed at some point but, bumpers have been re-chromed yeah. yeah but i mean that grill is like metal these aren't plastic no pieces this of, is all yep this yeah. is the real deal yeah so when you got in an accident i mean you're hitting metal to metal ain't metal to plastic no that's true so yeah but um and then i'm going to take a look on the inside at the Please dashboard do. is that okay yeah you can get in um, So, oh wow, this is really nice. So did you, the door panels had been redone as well then? Yes. So to match the seats? Yes. Wow, this, and then, I'll be honest with you, this looks really comfortable. It is. I mean, the seats look like you could sit and they're electric, or now those, are they electric and it's hooked up? Uh, they're electric. Okay, that? so they're the six way seats. So they're all hooked up and they they're work. They're all hooked up, see like that? And the steering wheel is obviously different, but. It's a tilt wheel. Wow. Uh, but it's yeah, it's different. But the dash itself is very uh, original. Yeah, yep. I mean, look at that. Now, is that the radio? What's that push button? That's the radio there. What is this push? Oh, okay, the that's... push button. But it's you know, it's the stock and right. we kept so that, it in the dash. But this but is, they put it out. Yeah, yep. we put that in it. And forty-four thousand. You think that's the original or is there? Yeah. Because you look at the brakes, the power brake, which is look how much design they put into a yeah, power brake into pedal. A power brake pedal. But um, they don't look that worn, so that's probably about that's probably the real mileage on the body, right? It's got to be pretty close to that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is a real survivor. It was taken good care of. So and now, I guess because they had to change this, they probably just put a shift the shift in over yeah, there. Yeah. Because it was probably originally a column. It probably shift. originally a column shift. Yes. But um, I believe it. I believe it originally had a, a 389 with a two barrel. Okay, but I and it probably originally had a bench seat because I don't. It think, did. Yeah, but it I did. mean, they should this. This is how they, uh, guys. This is how they should have designed it. <laughs> I think if they would have put these, these kind of things in it, yeah, um, it would have probably sold just as easy back then. Sure. If they had a console in it, I mean, this is yeah. a great idea. And you can tell this is from the you know late seventies, mid eighties. Yeah. But it still has it still the has cigarette an ashtray. thing, ashtray, and the lighter. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, you know, they don't do that anymore. Yeah, if you, I, I've never smoked, but you know, yeah. you did back in the day. You didn't have to step outside because at 55 miles an hour, if you have to step outside for a cigarette, you're pretty much gone. Right, right. <laughs> so. Yep. But, wow, it's a really, really, really beautiful car. So, and it's an eye catcher. Thank you. Uh, and I like how even the trim, even, that is, even the trim comes yeah, off a little bit. It yeah. almost looks like it, at first I'm like, oh, that piece of trim's coming off, but yeah. no, it's not. It's no, it's designed, designed that, that way. way. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Yes, thank you so thank much, you for, uh, much for letting us see it. Okay, enjoy the show. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. <laughs>